Good evening. Happy Sunday. I am jumping on a couple of minutes late, so I do appreciate you <laughs> bearing with me as I figure out this new setup here. I think we are good to go. Um, so if you're watching live, leave me a comment and let me know that you can see everything okay. That helps me on my end. It also helps me know that I can see the comments. So if anyone's com watching live and you're um, writing comments as we go, hopefully I'll be able to see them. And if you have any questions, I'll be able to address them. So I'm just gonna give Facebook a minute or so to let you know that I've gone live. So hopefully you enjoyed the weekend. It is beyond humid here. Um, so if you're not from London, Ontario, it is extremely humid here. I honestly did not spend a lot of time outdoors this weekend. I actually went, well, that's not true. I went shopping today and I feel like it was the first time I've really gone shopping besides going to the grocery store. So it was kind of fun to walk into a store and just be able to walk around and shop. So um, I did that today. I also worked yesterday so you know some work some play so hopefully you were able to do the same some work some play um, and hopefully you enjoyed your time um, hi Janine hope you're doing well thank you for commenting and let me know <laughs> and now I can see the comments so we'll get started tonight if you're new to my page my name is Jenna Moore and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in London Ontario Canada and every Sunday at 7.30, I go live to show you new products, techniques, or something that I'm working on in my craft room. So tonight I'm gonna show you actually a set of dies that are in the annual catalog. And this is the first time that I've played with them. So um, Stampin' Sunday is an opportunity for not only for you to see product you may never have seen before, but also gives me a chance to use that product that I really love and just haven't had a chance to create with yet. And I'm also going to show you a set of two rewards from the Celebration brochure um, that are called Counting Sheep and the dies that go with it. And we're going to use these products together so that we create what I think is a fun card. And then I'll show you some other cards that I've worked with. So I'm just going to switch my view here so you can see my crafting mat. So a couple of announcements before we get started. I did want to remind you that there are only a couple of days to enter It's My Birthday giveaway. So during the month of August, you can earn entries into my giveaway where I am giving away a free mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And so the way that you earn entries into that draw is every $40 order or every increment of $40 gets you an entry. Every time you attend a class in August, you get an entry, or anytime you refer a friend, so either they place an order or attend a class, you are getting an entry. So that draw will take place after August 31st. It'll probably be Friday before I get around to doing that draw, but I will do that um, draw probably live, so, um, so just keep watch for that. It, there are full details on my blog, jennascraftingstudio.com. And so that's just something fun to celebrate. Um, celebrate my birthday month. Actually, when I was shopping today, I was spending some of my birthday money, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> and then I did also want to remind you that for August and September, we are in Celebration. This is the second release of Celebration for the year. And so with every 60 or $120 order, you can earn free product from this brochure. Um, and so the other thing I haven't really mentioned is that there's also a starter kit special, uh, which we call our join special. So if you want to join um, this great stamping community, there is a special on where if you purchase your starter kit, which is $135 and you choose $165 worth of whatever current product you want, there's no restrictions or limitations, you're actually getting an additional free bundle from the mini catalog so what we call the holiday catalog so you're earning or you're getting additional product up to $81 worth of value on top of the $165 worth of product you're getting and you also get a free paper pumpkin 
with the starter kit. So your value is over $200 um, by the time you add those two things in. So that is a special that runs until the end of September. If you have any questions about purchasing a starter kit, feel free to send me a message um, and I can answer any questions that you have. So um, the last two announcements I have is to let you know that you also have until Tuesday to take advantage of this month's host code. So when you order online and you use this host code here, if your order is $50 or more, you do get a reward from me, which I send to you as a thank you. And this month it's six adhesive sheets, which I'm going to use tonight. I didn't pull them out, but I do want to use them. So I'll show you how those work. Um, and so with a $60 order, you're getting the reward from me, plus you're getting a celebration reward. So that's a uh, great value for an order this month. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say is that September classes will be posted this week. So um, I've already had last call for our specialty class. There are two other classes, so we'll have an in-person Christmas stamp stack which will happen the 4th, uh, Friday in September, I believe it's the 24th. And then the same day, I'll also be releasing the take-home class, which is based on the Gorgeous Leaves bundle. Um, so we'll take a look at for that on the events tab of my Facebook page um, or on my website. They'll be posted there also. So let's get down to crafting. So the dies that I want to focus on tonight are the picture this dies. They're two dies and they're quite large and they are in the annual catalog. And if you're like me, you perhaps may not have even noticed these dies in the catalog um, because honestly, the first time I ever saw them, someone was using them and I thought to myself, where are those? I have no idea where those dies are. So. Uh, these are fun ways to create not also not only frames so they do when you cut this out I mean here you're getting six stitched circles and here you're getting three stitched rectangles but they also create fun um, kind of pop out sections on your card front if you choose to use it that way which is how I'm going to show you how to do that tonight so I'm using Zoom this in here. We're going to use this die here for the card I'm showing you tonight, as well as the Counting Sheep stamp set. So this is one of the celebration uh, rewards. Just put this aside here. So this is a fun stamp set. Um, it's got a couple of cute sheep on here and then just a couple of sentiments. And then as well, there are also coordinating dies which you can earn as a celebration reward with a $60 order. So if you placed a $120 order, you could earn both the stamp set and the dies. So I think that's great, great reward for your order. Uh, one thing I did wanna say is that the sheep dies are only available while supplies last. So, um, so they will be one of the things to go first. So um, if you're interested in the dies, make, or if you've earned the stamp set and not yet earned the dies, just uh, be warned that they might not last until the end of September. So we're gonna work with these tonight. So I'll show you my sample card so that you know um, where we're gonna end up. So I'm gonna zoom in on this. And so this is a fun little birthday card, I think. And you can see the circles, how they're cut out, create these little pop-up holes um, for the sheep to just poke out of. Um, and after we're done putting this card together, I'll show you some other samples of other cards that I've done with these dies. So to get started, I've got my pieces here. So on this card, we are using Bermuda Bay cardstock, and this is cut in a basic card base. It is eight and a half by five and a half, squared at four and a quarter. And then I have another piece from our card front of Bermuda Bay, which measures five and a quarter by four inches. Then I have um, a piece of the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. So this is a paper pack out of the annual catalog. Um, it has been around for a while and it's fun because it's got a lot of um, kind of like interior design patterns. So lots of brick tile um, and wood grain patterns. So I thought this would be fun for the sheep. Um, to use a wood grain pattern. So this one is cut um, an inch or one eighth of an inch smaller than my card front. So it would be four and seven eighths. I need to think by three and seven eighths. No, 
5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 8 and then I have some scraps of Calypso Coral, K not um, Crushed Curry, and Knight of Navy to do the little details with the balloons and the flag. I have a piece of basic white which I've cut just big enough to cover this circle. And then I've got another piece of basic white which I'm going to use to stamp the sheep onto. Okay? So let's get started with the stamping. So on this little piece here, I am grabbing one of the sentiments in the stamp set. So I'm using the So Glad It's Your Birthday. Um, this will focus, hopefully. <laughs> Eventually, I have to be patient, I'm told. I don't know. I feel like it's not gonna do it. Okay, it says So Glad It's Your Birthday. Just, you know, you'll have to trust me. <laughs> and I'm using Night of Navy ink. So I'm going to stamp this here and I'm going to stamp it right in the middle so that I can ensure that it'll show up in that circle. Okay, so um, the other thing I'm just going to grab out. Um, I'm going to be coloring the sheep and the, hat, the birthday hat with my Stampin' Blends. So whenever you're using Stampin' Blends, you want to make sure that you're stamping the outline in an ink that's not going to bleed. So I'm using the Memento Black Ink here. And I picked two of the three sheep. I kind of picked the ones that look like they're having more of a party than the other one. I was thinking while I was getting ready for tonight's live that um, the sheep would be good for a baby card, I would think. I haven't tried it yet, but that's going to be my next, um, next card with these. And then I'm also going to stamp this little party hat because I'm going to cut cut that out and color it in with my blends. So we'll get this out of the way. Um, and then we're going to also cut these pieces here. So this is where I'm going to grab the adhesive sheets, which I didn't think to grab before. So this is this month's reward. So these are the adhesive sheets. You're, and with the reward, you're getting six sheets of them um, with a $50 order. And so I've used a lot of these. Um, and so they come out in sheets and you can cut them down to size. So for these little strips, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it how big I need the pieces to be. So that's for that one. And then I've got this one, which is crushed curry. And preferably you want them a little smaller than the piece of cardstock because they are sticky and you don't want them um, getting stuck all over the place. Especially if you're, well, you're gonna use them for dyes, so you don't want them getting stuck on your plates for your machine. So these are just like stickers, so you're gonna find the edge. It helps if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna try to zoom in and then maybe that will, maybe that will help, okay. So, okay, I found the edge here. And of course, one side's now gonna have the sticky backing on it. I'm gonna put that on the back of my cardstock. So that one's ready to go. Oh, this one I can already. I'm trying to keep it in camera view, but also be able to try to find the edge. Here we go. Okay, so I like to use these dies, or these adhesive sheets on small dies or intricate dies because what it does is it eliminates the need to use um, really fine glue and end up with a mess all over the place. Um, and they are, they're incredibly sticky. So now it's sticking to my hand here. Okay, and then this last strip here. So um, it's actually funny because now when we do classes I've noticed that if I don't put the adhesive sheets on them, some people are a little disappointed because <laughs> it really saves you from having to use really fine glue on those intricate dies. So every time I, I don't use the adhesive sheets, I always think to myself, why didn't I do that? That would have made my life so much easier. Okay, so we're gonna grab the machine here and I am going to stand up here. So I'm gonna switch my view um, and I'm gonna zoom out so that you can actually see what I'm doing here. So first we'll cut out the sheep and actually because we're cutting more than one, I'm gonna use my post-it tape to hold down some of the dies. 
also there are dies to cut out these sheep which is nice because then you don't have to fussy cut them so I'd really suggest if you're if you like these stamps um, and if you're placing a hundred and twenty dollar order that the dies to go with the stamp set are definitely worth it plus you get this cute little party hat which you could put on different things. So I was thinking the penguins, if you saw me use that stamp set before, the party hat would be fun on the penguins too. Although I think that stamp set does have its own set of party hat. Okay, so I've just run that through my Stampin' Cut and Boss machine. I'm gonna pull these out and then we're gonna color them afterwards. And let's not forget the party hat. And then I'm gonna cut out some balloons these aside and a flag so I'm gonna pull this back through so on this piece of calypso coral I'm going to cut a flag just so that one sheep has something different to hold so you'll notice I have my adhesive sheet on the back and I'm putting that down on my machine because I want that to be the backing of this flag and then the same thing with this knight of navy I'm putting the adhesive sheet down and then cutting them as I normally would so everything else is the same but what it's going to do is it's going to create my dies into little stickers I take a pick tool to get this flag out of here okay and now we just need one more balloon and then we'll be set to go okay so of course this piece of cardstock is way bigger <laughs> Then I need it, but better to have two things than two small. Okay. So pop that balloon out, and then we're done with our die cutting. No, we're not done with our die cutting, but we're done for now. Bring that back in to do the, the picture of this after. So here we go. We have the sheep, two balloons, a flag and a party hat. So we're going to color in the sheep with the Stampin' Blend. So I've picked gray granite um, just to create some detail on the sheep. Um, just, you know, kind of where there's some shaded marks and then for their hooves. So the Stampin' Blends have two, they're dual tip um, pens. So I'm using the brush tip, which is the wider uh, tip. I'm just coloring in these hoops on both. And uh, the blends come in a dark shade and a light shade. So for this shading, I'm just using the light because I didn't want something too dark. I just wanted something subtle. And then for the sheep faces, I'm using the light. Oh, I thought I was using light, but this is dark. So let me just swap out. There we go, light helping. <laughs> okay, I did want the light one. And I'm going to use the fine tip for this because I want to make sure that I'm staying within the lines. So I'm just giving him or her a little color. Somehow I lost a sheep. How did that happen? Did you get stuck? Oh, I got stuck in my bag with my blends. Here we go. I like this. This sheep, he's cute. He's got his eyes closed, so that's, that's kind of funny. That I can see is where the counting sheep come in when you are trying to count sheep to go to sleep, right? <laughs> okay, and then the other thing where I'm going to color is this party hat. So I've got my light night of navy blend that I'm going to color in these polka dots. And then Calypso Coral in the light. So I'm pulling the colors from the balloons and the flag here. That's how I've picked these two colors. Okay. So we've got these pieces. 
and we've got our stamped sentiment. Now all we need is the frame cut out. So I'm going to take my card front, which is in Bermuda Bay, and the circle die, and we're going to cut this out. So again, this die just works the same as every other, so I'm not too concerned about it being right in the middle, but I am trying to aim for it to be in the middle. So these dies are standalone dies, so when you're looking for them, they don't bundle with a stamp set. You just purchase the dies on their own. So you can see now that I've cut this out, we not only have the frame, but we have all of these stitched circles. So definitely don't throw these out. You could use these on other cards. Um, and they would work great with the layering circle dies where you could create um, small circles to fit inside here. So definitely all of the scraps are usable for other projects. Okay, so now we're gonna start to put our card together. Got my card base and I'm folding it on the score, scored line. And then I like to use a bone folder to burnish that edge. I find the bold folder, bone folder gives me the sharpest fold um, with my cards. I never used to use a bone folder and then once I bought one, I honestly can't believe I didn't use it before. <laughs> Okay, so now we want to layer up this card. So I wanna make sure that all of my sheep are in the right spots and my sentiment. So for this die, I'm choosing to use the Tombow Liquid Glue as my adhesive uh, because I just find the liquid glue, you have a little more um, flexibility in where uh, you can apply it. Uh, it's got a little more give. So to apply the the pieces on the frames. I'm just putting adhesive around the circle here and then I'm going to turn it over and make sure that the sentiment is in the frame. Now you're going to see that I have this little piece sticking out into one of the other frames. Oh, I messed that up. So we'll get that here. Make sure it's sticking and then delicately turn it over and I'm just going to take my paper snips and trim that up, okay? So we've got the sentiment now in that top circle and then I'm going to glue in the sheep. So what I want to do is just have them stick out of the holes. So I just need a little bit of glue on the bottom there. I don't know if this will focus here. Let's see. No, I think I'm too close. I think that's the problem. So I'm just going to tuck him in there and just add my glue there. And then the same with this sheep. I just need a little bit of glue on the bottom. Tuck him in there. And now with him, he is going to stick out a bit out of the bottom, well you can't see that, at the bottom of my card, so I'm just, nobody will know, but I'm just going to trim him off a little bit. Okay, so there we go. And then I want to add my balloons, which I think I'll do once we have all this together. I am going to, no, I'm going to glue the hat off there too. <laughs> I'm thinking as I go here. I can't remember how I put this together the first time. Okay, so now we're ready to layer everything up. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue the piece of designer series paper to the back of my frame. So again, using liquid white glue, I'm just going to go around and even on the sheep, just put some adhesive there. Okay. So the fun part is that wherever we don't have sheep or this, or the greeting, we have the designer series paper poking through, which is nice. And you could use different pieces of designer series paper if you wanted to put in some patterns. Um, you could definitely do that. One of the cards I'll show you, I did use different pieces of designer series paper um, for that card. So then the back of this, I'm going to use stamp and seal. You could use stamp and dimensionals in between these layers or stamp and dimensionals in between these layers, but I've glued everything flat on my card. 
So here we go, this card front. Again, is a basic card front. So we just have a uniform small border around the outsides there. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add these balloons. So because I've got the adhesive backing on it, I'm gonna use it just like a sticker. So I'm gonna find the edge and peel off the backing. And this is garbage now. But the balloon is now fully um, covered in that adhesive. And so it's really great. I can just stick this under here so it looks like the sheep is holding the balloon and no other extra glue required. And like I said, the adhesive is really sticky, so you don't have to worry about these small pieces lifting. Okay, so here's the second balloon. And then this other sheep is going to be holding this flag. So just the way that their little hooves are um, done here, it just, it really does look like they are holding the balloon and the flag. Let's see. Oh, I almost had that focus. Okay. And then we're going to put the little party hat. So the party hat, I'm going to use um, liquid white glue also. Okay. And so that's the card. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, I am going to now show you some of the other cards that I did with different patterns. So the one I did with the other designer series paper, so this is the Expressions in Ink designer series paper. This is the one that has the gold. Um, I'm gonna see if this will focus so you can see that, I don't know. Or I'm gonna zoom in. That seems to be the easiest way for me to get these to focus. Okay, so I've used different pieces of the designer series paper. So this one here actually doesn't have the gold element facing up. It's one of the underside pieces, but I've used um, four of the different patterns with the gold detail in it. And then I've used the gold foil in behind here as a frame. So I just left that to pop out. And then, so this is a circle die, but then I also used one of the frames in the other die. So I used this die here with a gold foil to create my frame here. And then I just cut a piece of basic white to fit inside. And then I used a stamp here. This stamp is from the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And um, this color of cardstock is one of our new ink colors. This is Evening Evergreen. No, it's not. It's soft succulent. As soon as I was saying that, I thought, no, that's not right. Um, so soft succulent, it is one of the coordinating colors with this designer series paper. This designer series paper is just stunning. Um, I've definitely used quite a bit of this paper. And then the other card that I did, and I'm just gonna zoom out here, is this one here because I wanted to play with this new designer series paper. So this is the, what is this? Um, Blackberry Beauty Designer Series Paper. This is in the mini July to December catalog. And so I used this die here to cut out my card front. And then I did, I used the paper as a backing for the frame. So I used two different pieces. This paper also has beautiful gold detail in the paper. And then I used a piece of basic white to, um, for my sentiment to go in behind just like I did with the sheep. So I stamped it and then glued it on the back. And then I used a couple of the gorgeous leaves, leaf dies, one in gold foil, the other in crumb cake, with a bit of the new gold metallic ribbon in behind. I actually learned this um, tip from Zara Premji, who is a demonstrator in Markham, Ontario. If you fray the ribbon, you actually get these fun gold details um, that I've glued in behind and then a piece of linen thread. So, you know, some fun cards to put together that aren't too difficult. They come together pretty easily. And so if you have the dies and some scraps of designer series paper, you know, you could have a card come together pretty easily and then just use some of the frames to create your sentiments. So I hope you enjoyed that card there. 
and thank you for joining Sunday Stamping. If you have any questions about any of the products that I used in tonight's cards, um, please let me know. Um, and before I sign off here, I did want to let you know I do have an order, a bulk order going in on Tuesday, August 31st. So if you are needing some supplies and you want to um, join in on that bulk order, please let me know by Tuesday at noon um, so I can place that order for you. Otherwise, I hope you have a great night and I hope to see you again next Sunday at 7.30. Take care.